What's up everybody, it's Brendan. I'm back with another NBA 2K Rebuild. Today, I'm gonna to be accepting a challenge to do the No Playoff Experience Rebuilding Challenge. It's gonna be a one-year challenge. I'm gonna to have to get players that have no playoff experience whatsoever. Not even one player on my roster can have played one single minute of an NBA playoff game. So I saw this on a comment on something. I don't know if it was Twitter, maybe it was a comment on someone's YouTube channel, but I've seen them in multiple different places. And uh, KOT4Q, he does a lot of rebuilds like this. He accepts challenges from the comments. So I thought this one was pretty cool and I think I can do it. So I'm gonna get into it. So let's switch over the video now. All right, so the first thing we have to do is pick our team. So I'm just gonna randomly select the team. We're gonna get into a fantasy draft and then we're gonna try and rebuild that team. So I'll stop in three, two, one. The 76 is all right. I'm just gonna simulate the draft. I don't wanna draft my team. I just want my assistant GM to do that. So we'll get into that. And let's see who we have. Now, most of the good players in the league have already been in uh, the playoffs. A lot of the ones that haven't are like the rookie and sophomore year players that weren't quite good enough, like Trey Young and Luka Doncic. They just couldn't lead their team last year. But then there's a lot of those guys who are probably gonna be making the playoffs this year. But luckily for me, the NBA season's on pause and they haven't they have no playoff experience yet so I can throw them into my um, team and we can get from there so let's see who we have all right so we're looking at the roster we have Steph Curry so we must have a really high pick but I'm gonna have to trade Steph Curry but that's awesome because he has a lot of trade value so I can maybe go out and get Luca or someone like that and build my team around him uh, Gallinari, Buddy Heald, Jackson Hayes, Malik Beasley, Kaminsky, Carter Williams, Korkmaz, Eliasova, Hutchinson, Jang, Exum, CJ Miles, and Bernie Simons. Okay, so we have a decent roster. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna look at our cap space and see what we have. I'm not really sure how much that's gonna affect what we're doing, but I just wanna be able to see um, if we're gonna be able to get some of those big name players that haven't ever been in the playoffs. So we have 9 million in luxury tax room 13 million in salary, negative 13 million in salary cap. So we don't have a lot, but Curry's making 40 million. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna try and trade Curry for Luka Doncic. He's considered untouchable. The only way I accept an offer for him is if we're blown away and this one doesn't do that. So we're not gonna be able to get Luka. So we're gonna have to go and look for somebody else on our list. Like Devin Booker's a guy we can try and find, trade finder for him. They want Steph Curry and CJ Miles for Booker and Goran Dragic. Um, you know, with Booker being in Phoenix, he hasn't had no opportunities to become a, a playoff player yet, but they were looking like it early in the season, but it's not really seeming like they're going to get in this year. But um, I don't really want to give up this much for him. So, all right, they're not going to do that either. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go and we're going to have to go to Team Intel. We're gonna have to see what teams are rebuilding and selling, and then we can try and see if we can snag one of their good players that's never been to the playoffs. So we have a bunch of rebuilding teams here. See TJ McConnell, Luca's on a rebuilding team, but he's considered untouchable. TJ Warren's a guy that has never made the playoffs either because he was in Phoenix and now he's in Indy. He's gonna make it this year, but let's try and see what they want for him. They want Gallinari, Buddy, Gallinari and Miles. Has B Elites ever been in the playoffs? He was on the Timberwolves and then he went to the Kings. So there's no way he's ever been in the playoffs. So let's trade for those two because that's two guys that have never been in the playoffs before. De'Aaron Fox has never been in the playoffs either. Let's try and find De'Aaron Fox. So we'll search him up and we'll see if we can get a deal done for him. He could be our point guard second. All right, so they're not doing that. Trey Young, rebuilding team, Charlotte Hornets. So they're not gonna accept Curry and two first round picks. I had to throw Wiggins in to make the money match. It's not gonna work out. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. So let's just see who Steph Curry can give us. They give us Ingram and Lonzo Ball, both of whom have never made the playoffs. I hate to do it, but this is what we're gonna have to do. Ball, Heald's never made the playoffs, Ingram, Bielitsa and Jackson Hayes. So our starting lineup, nobody's made the playoffs, but it's not a good, that's not winning us anything. TJ Warren's also never made the playoffs. Beasley has, so we're gonna have to get rid of Beasley. So I could throw Beasley and some first round picks 
into the trade finder and see what we can get. Um, we still have all of our picks, so that's good. Malik Beasley, first round pick. If it can get us a good rookie player, maybe. Okay, Stiebel's never made the playoffs. Christian Wood. Has Christian Wood ever made the playoffs? All right, so Christian Wood's never made the playoffs either, so we could get Matisse Thibel and Christian Wood. They both have never made the playoffs. Um, I really don't want to give up this pick if we don't have to, so let's see if we can maybe give you a couple second-round picks and see if that'll do it. All right, so we got that trade. Might have been an overpay for those guys, but I didn't have to give up this year's first round pick. So now let's go rebuild our roster. Okay, Lonzo Ball, Matisse Thibel, Brandon Ingram, Christian Wood, Jackson Hayes, Buddy Heald, TJ Warren, Bielitsa, Ilya Sova has made the playoffs, Cork Maz has made the playoffs, Gorgi Jang has made the playoffs, Chandler Hutchinson and Simons have not. So let's try and trade who are some of these other guys that I can get? All right, so I'm thinking that with Montrez Harrell here, we can maybe get him. I know he's made the playoffs, but then we could flip him and try and trade him for somebody that hasn't made the playoffs before. So I'm gonna see if that's the best offer we can get for Lonzo Ball and Gorgi Jang, and then we will go from there. Clint Capella and DiVincenzo both have made the playoffs. Kyle Lowry's made the playoffs. Dinwiddie and Valanciunas have both made the playoffs. Oladipo and Rozier, Brogdon, and McCollum have both made the playoffs, but they could both be valuable trade assets. They both have three and a half star value. I think we do this trade, and then we try and trade those two for someone good that hasn't made the playoffs yet. Okay, let's see if I can trade. Let's see if we can just do this straight up. They want to give me Thon Maker and then take back Court Maz. What if I what if I can get a second from you? Okay, so this is the deal we're gonna do. Will they accept it? Alright, they agreed to the offer, so now. We need a point guard, so we'll try and trade CJ for a point guard. And our bench looks good, but our starting lineup still isn't great. Um, so we'll try and trade CJ McCollum. We still have our first round picks. So let's see what we can get for him. Capella, Robinson, Lowry, Oladipo, DeRozan. Devin Booker was a guy that we could run a point guard. All right, so the Raptors agreed to that offer. Probably overpaid quite a bit for Booker, but we needed him to really do anything. So, okay, so now we got Booker, Ingram. We don't need Heald anymore, so let's see if we can get anything for Heald. We can run him at... We could run him at shooting guard, and then run Devin Booker at point guard, but we'll just see what we can get for Buddy. All right, this is the deal we're gonna do. It might seem like an overpay, but I want that first round pick. So we got that. All right, so the Thunder agreed to that offer. Maybe an overpay, but I really needed a big man. Our Booker run point guard, Thibel, Ingram, Wood, Porzingis, and off the bench we have Warren, Hayes, Ilya Sova I still gotta get rid of. And then DJ Wilson I also have to get rid of. So I'll throw those two in the trade. So I made this trade, I forgot to start the camera, but I made this trade for Alfred Payton and uh, Dort. I traded Ilya Sova, DJ Wilson, and a second round pick. So now we have a true point guard on the roster. And then I was just going to test the waters on some of these other players. Let me check Thibel and throw this second round pick. See if there's anything that we can get for him. I could get Duncan Robinson, who's a better shooter, but Thibel's a better defender. And then I could also get a second round pick for him. I think I might do that just to put some shooting on the team. Okay, and then try and maybe trade Simons, who has a little bit of trade value with that second round pick and see what we can get. 
I'm just gonna do this trade just to see if I can trade Martin or someone else in that first round pick for something. So, okay, then we'll go back, trade finder. We'll throw, who do we think has a little bit of value? We'll throw Dort and that first round pick and see what we can get for him. A lot of the same, John Conchar. Has Ben McLemore made the playoffs before? Okay, so McLemore has not made the playoffs before. Collison has. Evans has, I'm pretty sure. Not even in the league anymore anyways. Otherwise, Ty Jerome could be a backup point guard for us. I think I'm just gonna trade for Ben McLemore. And then look at our rotation a little bit, see. Okay, so rotation right now is looking like Alfred Payton, Devin Booker, Brandon Ingram, Christian Wood, Kristaps Porzingis, TJ Warren, Jackson Hayes, Duncan Robinson, Ben McLemore, and Cody Martin. I don't really want Martin playing any of these minutes. Um, give a few more to Booker, a few more to Ingram, some more to Chris Stops. Okay, and then I think that should be set. We're gonna run a nine man rotation. My first scoring option is gonna be Devin Booker then Ingram, and then Kristaps. <clears throat> we look at system proficiency. Right now we have defense, which isn't gonna be good. Balance looks to be better. Or triangle, or seven seconds. I think I'm gonna go with balanced, and then I'm gonna try and find a coach that can match that. Fire Brett Brown, and then We'll hire Trent Peterson to be our head coach. He's a balanced offensive guy. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna see if um, Jackson Hayes has any trade value with this pick. Wow, so Hayes does have quite a bit of trade value. I wonder if I can get another, if I can get a good point guard that's never made the playoffs. Okay, so John Collins has never made the playoffs. I wonder if I can do this without giving TJ Warren up too. Okay, so I think we do this deal for uh, John Collins. And he can be our starting power forward. We're losing Christian Wood, but Collins is a better player anyways. We're also losing Hayes, who has good value, but he's not going to be that great for us this year. Okay, so they accepted that. So then... Peyton Booker, Ingram... Collins, Porzingis, then off the bench, Warren, Robinson, McLemore, Jerome, and Martin. I'm gonna take Martin's minutes away, give some more to Peyton, a couple to Booker, a couple to Ingram, and then some to Porzingis. And Warren off the bench, Robinson, McLemore, Jerome. It's kind of thin at the power forward center spot because I traded Wood. So let's see if we can get somebody else. If I trade Macklemore and Ty Jerome. Okay, so I think we're gonna do this trade and get Bielitsa back and then get Simons again as well. So do that. Okay, so this is what the rotation is looking like. We have Peyton, Booker, Ingram, Collins, Porzingis, and off the bench we have Bielitsa, Duncan Robinson, Anthony Simons, and Cody Martin. And then these guys won't get any minutes. Kebro probably has played in the playoffs before. So I'm going to have to trade him. And has Simons played in the playoffs before too? So Simons and Kebro have both played in the playoffs before. So I'm going to have to trade both of them. Okay, so Damian Dotson and Jalen McDaniels, neither of them have played um, in the playoffs before, so we're just gonna trade for these two, and then we should be all good. Check the game plan quick. 
I'm going to give Jerome these backup point guard minutes. Maybe 16 a game, 15, 16 a game. And then Dotson can actually come in here <coughs> and play for Martin. And we'll give him Martin's minutes. And then I think I'm going to make Duncan Robinson a power forward. Or a small forward, I mean. And then we should be set. We'll make him a small forward. He goes up to a 79, which is awesome. Confirm that. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to get to simulating games. And then we're just going to see how things go. This is probably the best roster we're going to be able to assemble. So if it works, it works. I think we're definitely a playoff team. Are we a contender? I don't know. So I'll check in with you. April 14th, and then we'll go from there. We'll check and check out some stats, see where we're at. I do not know what happened, but we went on a 2, 6, 9, 12, 13 game losing streak to end the season. And I don't even know if we're in the playoffs anymore. Yeah, we got to win this last game to make the playoffs. Otherwise, this rebuild is a total failure. So we better hope we win this game and the uh, Knicks lose their game because otherwise we're not even going to make the playoffs. All right, so let's simulate this. All right, so it looks like we're going to win. Okay, we won. Luka wins MVP. Ja wins Rookie of the Year. Jalen Brunson, sixth man. Kawhi wins Defensive Player of the Year. Luka wins Most Improved. And Mike Malone wins Coach of the Year. We don't have anybody on first team or second team or third team, neither the defensive teams or the rookie teams. So we didn't even make the playoffs, the New York Knicks did. So I couldn't even build a team that made the playoffs. We were looking good and then it went downhill. So I'm just gonna simulate the playoffs, see who wins it. All right, so the Celtics won the championship. They beat the Lakers 4-2. to two. Ben Simmons is your finals MVP. I need to see our stats. Let's see what happened. Booker 24, Porzingis 23, Ingram 16, Collins 14, Peyton 9. Wow. So we still have most people under contract for next year. So I think... I know I said it was going to be a one-year rebuild, but I'm going to try and uh, reset this team for next year and see if we can do better next season than we did this season. So, so obviously I have no draft picks, so we didn't get to draft anyone. So we're just going to go on, skip rookie signings, go to team player options. And I think Alfred Payton had a player option, so we can try and accept that. And then we'll also accept Duncan Robinson's, excuse me, team options. So we'll accept both of those. If we have any qualifying offers, we're going to extend them to Ingram, all these guys. Yeah, we'll just extend them to all of them. So Brandon Ingram's prepared to accept an offer from the Grizzlies. We have the opportunity to match. Let's see, three years, 88. We'll match that. So we're going to player progression. Booker's up to an 89. Porzingis, 89. Collins and Ingram, both 87s. Robinson's up to an 80. Only person that dropped was Bielitsa. Big man defense to Collins. Okay, and then we're gonna do shooting to Ingram. Okay, so now he's up to 89 from three. So then we'll advance the next season. Okay, so checking the roster, these guys down here, they may have been in the playoffs before, but they're not gonna play any minutes for me and I'm not gonna worry about trying to get them off my team and get other guys on my team. I'll go to the rotation, make sure they're not in there at all. And AC's not gonna be in the rotation. So, Martin will take AC's spot and he'll get those minutes. And then, okay, so that should be the rotation. And then I'm just gonna make sure that our coaching is good. Okay, so, I'm just going to simulate again and see if we can do better this season than we did last season. If we can't, then this is a total, total failure. So I'm just going to go to the end of the season and see how it works. All right, so we're here at the end of the season. We have one game left. We're 40 and 41. And I'm not even sure if we're going to make the playoffs or not, but let's just simulate 
this last game. We win that, we're 500. We probably should make the playoffs, but not for sure. Luka wins MVP. That guy wins Rookie of the Year. Rubio, Sixth Man of the Year. Kawhi, Defensive Player. Most Improved, Aaron Holiday. And Steve, Clipper, Steve Clifford is your Coach of the Year. Um, Porzingis makes third team. Nobody makes second or first team. And we don't have any defensive players and we don't have any rookies because we didn't have draft picks. So we are the sixth seed, actually. So that's better than I thought we were going to be. And we're playing Milwaukee. Now, who's on Milwaukee's team? All right, so they have Steph Curry, Gary Trent Jr., David Nwaba, Rui Hachimura, and Rudy Gobert. So I think we're just going to simulate it game by game and just see how it goes. So it's a little back and forth at the beginning. The Bucks start out. The Bucks are building a pretty big lead. Yeah, they're blowing us out. So they lost by 40 the first game. Next game. They come out hot again. Yeah, we have no chance in this one either. And looks like we're going to be blown out in this game, too. Rotation down to seven. Give all these minutes to our stars. And just see what happens with that. A little back and forth and they come out and they take it so we got eliminated again fortunately we couldn't get this rebuild done i thought we built a team that was better than a 500 record but apparently 2k doesn't think so so that's kind of how it ended but if you guys have any other challenges you want me to do or you have anything that you think might be fun for me to look into maybe some videos to react to anything like that make sure to let me know in the comment section below. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a like, click that subscribe button, and then share with all your friends so we can grow this channel. I can keep making more of these awesome NBA videos for you guys. Other than that, it's been Brendan. It's been real. Peace out.